Hey. What's up What's with you? you? Oh man, oh man, you can hear me well, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I can hear you perfectly the same on my side. All right, all right. So um yeah, man, man. You know, I hey, listen, man, you know, I did an impromptu, an impromptu live earlier, Aaron, man, and I saw um I saw some of your people actually jump on the live, man, and they was tapping in about, um, you know, some of this rhetoric that's going out there about women don't smile, man, you know? And, and uh, I think one of, one of the young ladies that jumped up on, on the live today with me, she was like, yo, Aaron was just talking about this. Mr. Let Go was just talking about this. So I said, well, let me get in tune with you, you know what I mean? And um, <laughs> um, like I said with you earlier, I think it's kind of very hard to to uh, to uh, to understand where where women. I think it's very easy, rather excuse me, very easy to understand why and where women are with them not smiling, them feeling like it's a demand, so forth and so on. Um, could you give uh, the people a little back end and backstory on what was some of the energy that you was given when you were? speaking on your um on your instagram page okay so um kevin samuels was um you know on his show and a young lady came on there saying that so the woman just came on there simply saying that uh you know i don't like it when men come up to me and say hey beautiful why don't you smile right and kevin was like what you know and she went down this rat well they went down this rabbit hole about how um it's, it's not right you know some women feel offended when a man says to smile or whatever so i wanted to do a video just to add to that but after reading the comments i kind of like understood where the women were coming from who who were saying they don't need to, they don't want to smile because to a certain degree, if you're on a, if you're in the north or if you're on the south, you smiling at the wrong dude can get you fucked up. Very true. You get what I'm saying? Very true. You walking past a bodega in New York in the Bronx or something, and you know some dudes like yo smile and you start smiling you 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 might get harassed or something you know or, what i mean or, or if you don't smile right you, you you might get harassed the same way so it's very right yeah yeah so i had to take a second and get out of my male brain instead of being offended because as black people it's almost like you ever seen uh, uh somebody do a trick in front of a whole bunch of black people they're like, oh, 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 oh. Get crazy. oh. You get crazy real fast. Yeah. We as crazy. black people have an addiction of being offended, right? And this is men and women. Mm -hmm. So I had to get out of my black person bag and say, okay, let me not be offended by this thought process of a woman not wanting to smile. Yeah. And empathize and find out why. This is hard for women instead of being like, oh, what are you talking about? Why would the because right, we right. we love to do that as black people. We always want to be offended by what somebody else says. But other people have their own stories and they have their own way of thinking and their own perspective. Right? So yeah, so that's that's where we are. Um, I to a certain degree have an understanding better than I did before, yes. before I posted a video of why some women don't want to smile or think is offensive when a guy says to smile. Um, yeah, so, so you know, I, I feel like, I feel like, um, I feel like I get it, right? I, I get it, mm. right? From, from that standpoint, I get it, right? However, it still doesn't, it still doesn't, um, all right, so a few things, right? Ladies, if you're watching this, we want y'all to hit that button so we can bring you up just so we can get a smile, so we can set the temperature, positive energy, safe space. You know what I mean? We, we're here to promote smiling. Today's Monday. We want to, you know, um, get people out there to smile, to set the energy and tone for your week ahead of you. You know what I mean? So hit the button. We're going to bring you up. Um, to dovetail with what Aaron just stated, 
I, I agree with that, right? And, and I and I know I know and understand that from a few different aspects as men, um, it's it's kind of an awkward and procure or rather peculiar situation for us to be in where we're asking. Uh, you know, we, we may say something like, hey, hey, beautiful, you know, enjoy your day. You know, um, hopefully was ever on your mind, you know, just, just, you know, let me see a smile or something. And then she like, I don't want to smile. I feel mm-hmm. like, I feel like at bare minimum as a woman that comes with, especially a woman of a certain age, a woman that's been around and, and know how to know how to move. I often occupy the space of saying more ballerina, less hippopotamus. That just simply means you know, uh, give a little bit more finesse and, and instead of less aggression, you know, because if a man says, hey, beautiful, smile or whatever, and then you see that he's trying to holler at you, you know, curve him, but curve him gently so that you could, okay, you know what I mean? Um, I appreciate that. I just got a lot on my mind. You know, I'm actually in a rush somewhere. You know, if he keeps persistent, be like, yeah, you know, here's your smile, but, um, you know, I know my man probably wouldn't be too happy with too much further. You know, but you go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day, sir. And just keep it moving, you know what I mean? So that you could try to occupy the space of, you know, not being nasty, but also being pleasant while also, you know, uh, uh, sticking up for yourself and knowing that you don't want thing, anything more than just that, a simple smile. You know what I mean? And I get it. I got I got pushback on that, bro. Talk to me. It's not that easy. I hate when women say that. Right. It's not that easy. Right. But in this particular situation, it's it's not that easy, man. It's okay. not like imagine being well, not being, but imagine a beautiful woman walking four blocks to where she has to go to. Right. Yeah. How many times is she going to have to do that in those four blocks of dudes are out there? Do you think any woman who's rushing to go somewhere, who's not in the mood to entertain, who see who may perceive the dudes as dusties or whatever, do you yeah. think she's actually going to sit here and and entertain? I know that's right. Seven different dudes as she walks these four blocks. Keep that same. Hey, age. yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's my smile. And then you walk in like, I right, gotta go, gotta go. You texting or whatever. And then, hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my spot. Ain't nobody oh, doing all that. Right. But see now, let me ask you something. Isn't that, isn't, it's like certain things come with being a man, right? Like, mm. like certain things come with being a man. Like respectfully, if a woman is, if she gets a flat tire, whatever it is, going back to the, to the Kevin Samuels rhetoric, right? If she gets a flat tire, if a man sees a woman being hit on, if a man, if, she, if, if you're a man, regardless if I'm with this woman or not, if we're going through the same door, I should be jumping ahead, grabbing that door and opening that door, regardless of mm-hmm. what. I draw that parallel to say, as being a woman, certain things is just required of you. And I'm not saying smiling is one of those things, but what's to be expected is, dudes, I don't care if you look like precious. I don't care how big, small, tall, fat, skinny, how what you look like, a man is going to shoot his shot. Fuck yeah. You, know, you can't, no more than he can demand of you to, to smile, no more should you uh, 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 demand or uh, uh, place the, rec- how, what am I trying to say? Uh, say to him, hey, I don't feel like smiling because confrontation is often met with confrontation. If a man mm-hmm. is screaming and a woman is low, speaking low, more often than not, he's going to start to come down and mm-hmm. vice versa. So the way right. you diffuse situations, I th- again, I'm no, I'm, I'm no, I'm no therapist and y'all ain't going to Derek Jackson me. They ain't going to Derek Jackson me. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes you gotta occupy the sp- well, you don't have to, but it would behoove you, it would be in your best interest if you occupied the space of of all right, you walk down this block and you knew that you got a certain response. Cool. Next time, don't walk down that block. Take the alternative route and do something. All I'm saying is I'm trying to figure out a way for women to have that safe space without occupying a nasty mentality or, or 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 mind and feeling like hey i don't want to smile i don't got to smile and just being nasty about it because i tell you for certain Aaron, being nasty about it never fixes anything but 
It's also a defense mechanism side of it, too, because like I said, I live in Atlanta. Women smile and, and women ain't just walking everywhere either. They're in their cars or whatever. So I had to sit down and say, OK, this is a north thing. This ain't even no south thing at all, because women ain't walking nowhere. We don't walk. We get in a car and go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So overall, what happens when, you, what happens when you're walking through the mall? What happens when you walking through the house? Really, the only people who are like really, you know, to a certain degree, pulling to pulling you to the side and trying to holler at you or trying to get you to smile in the mall is people trying to sell you stuff. Uh, it might be a dude that really is is trying to holler at you, but the frequency of this hey hey beautiful smile it's like going to the gas station or walking down the street yeah, um, you don't agree um I, I i don't i don't and the reason why i don't i don't agree is because i feel like regardless if it's i'm, I'm well traveled i've been a lot of different places to the west coast to the east coast even down by you and i feel like more often than not um no matter what the circumstances call for if a woman isn't having a good day, a woman isn't having a good day. Period. Mm -hmm. Respectfully. You know what I mean? If a woman isn't having a good day, she's not having one. Period. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me ask you this. Go um, ahead. I had some women saying, sometimes I feel like shit. And I don't feel like smiling. As men, do we feel like, oh, I'm sorry, you got a little girl there. But do we ever feel like crap as men? where it affects our mood, we just don't want to smile? Is this a woman thing? I've no, never really... I, 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 I can only answer that question as a man. I, I, yeah. I don't know about women, but I don't be... Feel like, if a, if the shoes reverse, I'm going to smile. I'll be smiling. I should right. As a man, I don't... I can't remember feeling like crap and being like, I don't want to smile because I feel like crap. I can't remember one time Unless my girl done left, my dog done died, or some some crazy done happened, I can't remember one time where I feel like crap and I'm just like I don't want to smile. Right. So it may be a woman thing where women just I don't know what can any woman explain what does sometimes I feel like shit means because yeah. as men we are happy literally every day. You know, we might have a bad, we might have a bad attitude, but it doesn't reflect our entire day. There you go. There you go. Ladies, look, we want to bring y'all up so y'all can speak. I don't want this to be men speaking for women, but right. if we have men up here, I got, um, I got my guy, I got my guy, talk to Mac. You know, I'm talking about therapy with Mac. Talk to me, Mac. My man, my man. How, how are you guys? I'm good. We're good. Okay. So I've one Broadway. When was the last time you felt unsafe? Ah. The last time I felt unsafe? Yes. Probably, See? I probably was pulled over or something. Okay, and that yeah. was how long ago? That was a while. Ago. What if the police officer asked you to smile? Would you smile? Oh, hold on, though. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. <laughs> this is a good one. And next to you right now, Broadway. Say that again. Is there any female next to you right now? No. Okay. Ladies, if you can answer in the comment, can you please tell Broadway the last time you guys felt unsafe? I, I guess see what you're doing there. Five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. Yes. Right, right. Last week. So the reason why a lot of women are not smiling, my man, is because they are always feeling unsafe. Unlike us, they, they, they are not as physical or has, have the privilege to walk down the block and not be catcalled or not, or, or, or not be approached or some men not disturbing their peace. So a lot, a, lot, a lot of women have a force to wear these masks and at times it looks like not smiling and being unpleasant as a protection yeah. of themselves. Yeah, and let me add. Let me let me add this as much. Mr. Let me add this too. How are you, brother? Big What's going on, brother? How you doing? So let me let me add this. Two in every five women. 
So if you ever see five women standing together, three out of those five women have been sexually abused, sexually assaulted by somebody that they know. Right. So they have to deal with that also. The past episode of that happening, they're afraid of that happening again. Yes. And 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 again, it's it's being done at 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 the hands of males that they actually you know fathers, uncles that they know, and they friends, know. boyfriends. So so wait, walking in the community and they have all of those triggers that is related back to their trauma. Okay, okay, right. I I, I don't I don't I don't dispute that. I receive that and I understand that. Right yeah. now, hit. Let's go a little bit deeper. Okay. I got the I got the right men up here to do this with too. Keep that Let's same energy. Things. At what point, at what point, and I get it, right? Sometimes we, I, I get it. Women don't always feel safe and 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 and, and I get that, right? They they don't ever feel safe. At, 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 do you believe and, and I'm going somewhere with this, so so let me land. Do you believe that this is a a a, a cultural black thing or is this women don't feel safe outside of, do you feel like women of different ethnicities, they don't feel safe? Or do you feel like they feel safe? They okay. feel safe. Okay, so inherently speaking, I would say all, across all culture, women do not feel safe. However, okay. in the black community itself, black women are the lowest rated in terms of safety and in terms of privilege, right? Okay, so, so look. And so, it, so, so, Go okay, ahead. so 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 ladies, if there's a lady that's watching that's in the comments, please step up, hit the button. We want to bring you up, right? Because hold on, let me make sure. All right, just making sure no one's hitting the button. So if you guys want to be brother, because I don't want men to speak for women. We're doing our best job in in, in, in internalizing, interpreting, but we're not women. So I just want to again say that, right? So I feel like I feel like a lot of times, um responsibility uh, uh it starts within right we we got to be responsible about ourselves first before i start now as men there's things that we don't always get right as men holding okay. ourselves accountable there's things we don't always get right respectfully i don't think the onus of the things we don't get right is comes by way of a woman, a black woman, or or, or anything. I think as a man, you know, it, it probably it probably has a lot to do with our upbringing, societal norms, and things of that nature of the pressures that's put on our shoulders as men, so forth and so on. But I wouldn't ever blame, even if I had a bad relationship or whatever the case may be, I wouldn't ever blame a woman for why I am the way that I am, right? I feel like more often than not, the, 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 the responsibility of it starts within, right? Holding myself accountable. I feel like more often than not, and ladies, please feel free to correct. I feel like more often than not, a lot of, a lot of times women, women bring, bring up a certain, a, certain, um, a certain energy that would suggest it's the man's fault for why they feel angry or, un, or unprotected to what Mac mentioned. Could you guys yes. speak to that a little bit more? And ladies, feel free to do the same. Let go. Get them. Okay. So um, women can't harm us, bro. I agree. I want you to just think about that. They can hurt us. They can leave us. They can cheat on us. Yes. But they can't harm us. What the hell can a woman do to me? <laughs> so, so going through life, a woman has never harmed me, okay? Not to a uh, not to a degree. You know, I've been slapped or you know, hit in the back of the head, but that's not harm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've never been harmed by a woman in life, right? Yeah. And most of most men have never been harmed by a woman. And when I say harmed, I don't mean slapped across the head, hit in the head with a pot. I mean harmed where you thought you were going to die. Okay. So I, I need you to think about near death experiences, like riding a motorcycle and you flip over some stuff. That's harm. I understand where you're going with this. We don't get harmed. Women get harmed. And like I told you, there's a lot of women who have been had dealt with near death experiences, um, dealing with men. 
or their cousin or sister or their mom, their own mother seen, you know, uh, they, they witnessed that. So they either have witnessed harm or they have been harmed. Their teeth been knocked out, all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Yep. Put in the hospital, arms broken. Yeah. Yep. So like it, 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 we, we don't have to go to that extreme, but we can also think of always that man has invaded a woman's safety bubble from a her, from touching her. From mm -hmm. from sharing her photos or just labeling her or calling her name, those are all instances in which we view our privilege to oppress such women without even being aware of the level of trauma we are causing this young woman, which would then be passed to her children, to her sisters, and etc. It's a whole culture and cycle of trauma that we as black men have highly contributed to and me being being a father and having a young black uh, a young black daughter like bro i am scared but at the same time like i i want to make sure that i am present to be that protector that yeah. she will need and bro, yeah. bro i said to my sense we have a beautiful black woman on stage i think Thank it's fair that we turn absolutely and that's where i wanted to go Thank to you. next talk Thank to us Kat. guys Hey, so, you know, I haven't been on here in a while, so I'm, I'm grateful to tune in today. Um, I can only speak as a black woman. Um, living in, I've lived in New York City most of my life, and as a black woman living in New York City, I've always been told, smile, you need to smile more. And I feel like it's not, a I get why some men may do it, um, but I just feel like as a woman, it's not my place to smile to make you feel better. Mm. Um, it's not my place to soothe your ego if you feel upset because I didn't smile or I didn't want to smile or I didn't even want to acknowledge you because like everyone's saying in the comments and the young men on here, you know, you just never know what someone is going through. And me personally, I'm just speaking from the mental aspect of being black, being a black yeah. woman, living in the city, dealing with everything from the past and now, it's not easy. You know, it, it's just not easy trusting even our yeah. black men because let, I'm going to give you a great example. Uh, a couple of months ago in Harlem, the woman turned down the man buying her um, alcohol at the store and he beat the living shit out of her. And the other men sat, st stood around and watched it and let it happen. Everybody yeah. else watched it and let it happen. So they're, they're when you see recorded. stuff like that happening, yeah. I don't want to smile. So so let me ask smile. you something, cats, right? So, all right, so let me frame this the right way. Mm -hmm. So now in the instance of, and, and, and I'm, in, I'm in agreement with you, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I, I get it. I, I get it. The, the pressures of what it takes to be a woman, I get it. If, if, if it seems like I'm giving a lot of pushback, it's because I know the direction. I, I'm trying to motivate you guys to, to say a certain thing, right? So I, I just right. want to I I know how you see work. where I'm going. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we, we, I know so, how you work. So thank you. So um, a lot of times, right, he's a man. He's a man, you walking down the street, coincidentally, just follow me down this long path of probably he's gonna end up nowhere, but here we go. So this man says, <laughs> hey, Kath, what's going on? I mean, hey, hey, beautiful, smile. You go, I don't feel like smiling today. He go, all right, I mean, all right, so first thing first, is the, first thing first, is that smile for you or do you feel like that smile's for him? Because maybe he sees that you're, that you're a bit perturbed. It could be, it, it definitely could be me. But how would I know? Okay, I'm here for that, right? Mm -hmm. Continue on. So he says, smile, you go, um, you go, I don't really feel like smiling, whatever the case may be. Give him a little pushback. Cool. Coincidentally enough, coincidentally enough, this dude sees you being harassed by some, 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 same, by some strange stroke of events. You're being harassed. Mm -hmm. Is it his job or place not is it his job or place, but would you then want that same man yes. to get, hold on, mm -hmm. would you yeah. want that same man to step in while you're being harassed hell and, yeah. and, and save the situation? Yes. Hell to the hell okay, hell okay, yes. so, well, so, okay, because, okay because, but hold on. I'll, I'll because tell right you why. is if, right, right, and wrong is wrong. All right. He said, 
can you smile? I said, I don't feel like smiling. I was polite by All saying, right, no. I don't feel like smiling. But if somebody out here beating my ass and you just yes. standing there, that's wrong. Okay. And it's not transactional, bro. Like, I don't owe her something, or she, I don't owe her help because she smiled at me. I'm not saying, wait, say that again. I don't owe her help because she smiled at me, which means if she doesn't smile at me, it it it, it doesn't mean that I shouldn't help her. No, no it's, it's part of my duty as a man. I'm, I'm saying yes, what you're saying. saying but I want it to come from a woman because there's a narrative that's going on out there that if a woman is getting her ass handed to her, God forbid, that a man shouldn't feel need to help her because of what you just stated, thinking that it is transactional, but it hits a little different when it comes by way of a woman. Ah. So I, I, I want that to be known, you know? Sometimes just because my, my energy is always this, be who you are. Period. That means regardless if a person is being nice to you or not, be who you are. If you're a nice person, don't conform to the, sh don't conform and start being an asshole because somebody's being an asshole to you. Period. How I always Pooh. identify it as is, you know what? She might be having a bad day. You I know, know that's she right. She might be having a bad day. It's mm -hmm. not on me. So that's my effort to get the viewers and listeners to understand respectfully that what Aaron just stated is not transactional. It's really it's not. not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, like just, just, just two, two quick points, right? The the reason why nowadays someone could be getting killed. And everyone just stands there and watch and and record. It's called a bystander effect. It means mm -hmm. that we're waiting to see if someone else is going to to do something. We don't want to say that again. The bystander effect, right? We're looking at each other, thinking the same thing, but waiting for one person to take the lead. That's why mm -hmm. most people end up not not doing anything. And secondly, mm -hmm. as men we need to start holding each other accountable. And I do that uh -huh. at, at the barbershop and, and at the gym. If I walk in and y'all saying a whole bunch of nonsense, like the minute I walk into the barbershop, they're like, yo, the therapist is here. <laughs> what, what, what you're saying, the therapist well, is here. Well, now, you, well. well, now Mac, 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 you gave me, you gave me excited now, I'm Mac. Because you, you, listen, but Mac, hey, but Mac, you. but Mac, but uh -huh. Mac and I'm gonna hold you accountable too. Uh -huh. And here we go. All right, so here we go, right? Men, how you say that again? Men, we need to start holding ourselves accountable. Each, Each other. other. Mm -hmm. Each other accountable. Yes. Mm -hmm. In an effort to do so, Mac, in an effort to do so and hold ourselves accountable, respectfully, and, and, and I get right, men arguing women's plight. I get it. But at what point do men start to argue men plight and start to argue what we go through as men, because I feel like that's a form of holding ourselves accountable. Because a lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of times we have, a lot of times we have men that speak for women, and I'm here for it to a certain extent. But at what point do? Because if I scroll up social media, nine out of ten, I'm going to see. I'm not. I'm, I'm being extreme, but examples are best made when they're extreme. But you get the general gist of what I'm saying. More often than not, men are speaking for women. At what point do we get men speaking for men? If we are to battle, if we are to, we ain't going through nothing. Men going through a lot as well. Men going through a lot. Right, right. the reason why? The reason why women go through the things that they go through? That's by way of men is because we don't have solid men giving us the game. Agreed. We don't have solid men to hold us accountable and say, yo, Mac, now, now, now go away. Look, this is how you should move X, Y, Z. If I see something Mac doing or Aaron doing that's out of pocket, yo, Aaron, why would you do that, King? And have it from one of his peers that he that they mutually respect. So mm -hmm. I, I just feel like I, I'm here for us holding ourselves accountable, and it sounds great, but at what point do we actually do it by way of walking the walk? Agreed. So it, let me say something out of you. Go ahead. Go ahead. One. I, I mean, so I, I I agree with you. Men also deal with with a lot. We have the highest rate of depression. We have the highest rate of anxiety. We have the highest highest rate of suicide. Don't do anything. I'm moving at 
domestic abuse as well, but that is self-reported, so so we'll never know. How, however, when I walk into these barber shops now, the conversation switch. It's like, yo, Mac, I have not been sleeping well. Yo, Mac, um, I think I'm depressed. Can you help me find a therapist? Yo, mm. how do I win my mm. girl over? How do I stop cheating? Oh. Mm. By starting to to take on that role of 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 being a therapist and of being of the people, then we can switch the conversation that's happening. Where men are a lot more vocal. Like my DMs right now and my emails is 90% black men saying, yo, I need therapy. Yo, who can yeah. you refer me to? So the tide is changing. Mm -hmm. And that's due to platform like yours, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Of highlighting black men and, and inviting us over and sharing your your platform of advocating for our needs and also black women have always been the agent of change they bring their men to therapy right mm -hmm. so the tide is changing and hopefully it can continue yeah so let me so let me say this this is the reason why i said we ain't going through nothing we are going through stuff but a lot of it is is self-inflicted and when i say self-inflicted i'm talking about two particular situations Women and men. When you talk about a white man, when you talk about the world, we're talking about women and men. And remember earlier I said, we don't feel like we're ever assaulted or endangered by women. Mm -hmm. So when I say we ain't going through nothing, I mean from women. The fuck is you talking now about? women can leave us, cheat on us, have a baby on us, take us through child support, uh, make us feel you know less than or whatever. But at the end of the day, as leaders, as men, we have the responsibility and we have the wherewithal to fix our own problems yeah, because uh, we're that's men. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. Right? See, we, you know, mm -hmm. I, 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 I just feel like, Aaron, like uh, 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 just uh, that, oh, I, I, I'm almost I'm done. Okay, to, okay, go for it. To Aaron when he's done. Uh, okay, um, so women to the certain degree aren't doing it to us, okay? So say you get a girl pregnant and she won't let you see her kid, put you on child support, do all this. You did that the fuck? as the man. The woman ain't did do that to you. You did that. You choose, just like I tell women that they're loser choosers sometimes, you're a loser chooser when you pick a woman that would do something like that in, in a lot of cases, not all. So. That's self-inflicted. So a lot of the times that men go through what they go through, yeah. it's it's not the woman. It's not the woman putting us through that. It's us putting it through it or other entities. But it's not the woman, because if a woman is trash, why are we still around her? So now, now if we're not making enough money, or if we feel like if we feel like failures. That's on us. A woman isn't making us a failure. We're failures because, so we're depressed because we're not making any money. We're not applying ourselves. So what I'm saying is women aren't harming us even emotionally that's causing us depression or suicide. No, it's us not applying ourselves to a certain degree and we're sad because we're not applying ourselves. So I'm gonna go after Kate. Exactly, a lot of what you're saying, and it does make a lot of sense. Um, We're not victims of women, is what I'm saying. Right, and so, but I feel like that kind of goes both ways. Like some, you have some women that will say, "This man did this, and he did that, and so now I'm this way." But at the end of the day, you control your own feelings. Um, mm -hmm. I'm speaking from a black woman who has recently started therapy because I was becoming that angry black woman, not because of a man, but just because of a lot of things that you know, one deals with, right? And so um, I think it's a, it, it is very important that men, black men have these platforms. Um, so I wanna thank you guys because black men need to feel comfortable to talk about their feelings in a sense of not to feel defeated, not to feel lesser than, but to get some of this stuff out because it, they, they have this thing of, I gotta keep it to myself, I gotta deal with it myself, da 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 da. No, and we don't go to the doctor. That is not healthy. So, at so, all. so, so here it's, we go, right? And we don't go to the doctor, so, which is self inflicted. So, so, and we don't right? go to the doctor. Exactly. So, so, so right, here we go, yes. right? Yes. Right, right, please, I, I feel please. Like, I feel like, I feel like, allow, I feel like allow me to answer, please. 
I got you. I got you. I got you. Let me get let me get this shot off, right? I feel like yes, right? Men, men. <sighs> we don't go to the damn doctor. I feel like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the self inflicted. I let y'all work, right? I feel like when it comes keep that to same men, energy. I feel like men, we go through a lot of shit, respectfully. Yeah. It's yeah. use my French. I feel like we go through a lot. From, from because of societal norms, we're taught women. I can't yeah. learn. What I'm saying <laughs> is, as a man, <laughs> as a man, we go, we as men, we go through a lot. Like, yeah. let's not trivialize it and just make it because we're men. And, and, and I feel like respectfully, that becomes part of the problem. The problem. Where, yes. Where, where when we start to speak, and we say, yo, we going through something, and other men be like, what do we go through? It's like, yeah, no. that, that, makes, that, that creates the turtle effect, where people start to put their head back in their shell, and they don't want to say nothing because respectfully, well, they being told that if I say anything, if I say, damn, if you do, damn, if you don't. If I say something, then I'm looked at like I'm being soft. If I don't say something, then I'm look like I'm not being emotionally available. Yes, yeah. agree. So help me make it hard. Start to say, all right. I might not be personally going through what this brother might be going through, but I cannot, I cannot ignore the fact that he may be bad. It may be a lot of validity to what he's saying. Black men go through things, and a lot of times, Aaron, and, 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 and to the people that's watching, the ladies and men that's watching, it be by the way of women. A lot yeah. of times, men don't know how to deal with their emotions. So I'm not saying a woman is the fault. I'm saying that when a man goes through something, sometimes I've, been, I've personally been in situations, and I've, and I've heard of other situations where the, the woman that homie is dating, she's not emotionally available. But then I go back and deal with the trauma and look at how she was raised, how many brothers she has. Well, listen, that's another whole rabbit hole. All I'm saying mm -hmm. is, men, we go through some things. Keep and that it's very same hard energy. To speak to a woman sometime because a woman's only going to do up into the point of what she knows how to do. It's not her responsibility, going back to what Max stated. It's our responsibility as men to find platforms, to find individuals, to find safe clubs and safe houses and, and safe platforms where we can say, hey, listen, man. I was walking down the street the other day, me and my wife was fighting, you know, and it's been heavy, it's been real for about a week. I was tempted to cheat on my wife. I was tempted to cheat on my wife and have a safe space to say that where you are gonna say that to an individual or brother that's gonna be like, nah, I know exactly what you're going through because I've been there myself. Listen, let me tell you how to get out of that. And that will cause, that will, that will be the, the, the cause and effect for less for more women being cheated on less because yeah. we're holding ourselves accountable. Clear. Yes. Go ahead, man. So again, um, let's just let go. I'm disappointed in you, brother. <laughs> I, I, love you. I appreciate you as a no. fellow king. I love you no. and I appreciate no. you. But I'm disappointed no. in you, my man. No. We have to decipher between advice to robot and advice to human beings. The human nature is complicated in itself. It's mm -hmm. not always black and white. A, a relationship is a dyadic experience. You take from me, I take from you. Women can hurt men emotionally. Fuck yeah. 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 Like no. Then physically, right? Being, being in a healthy relationship increases a, a man's life, lifespan, lifespan of four to six years. They have higher income. They do better with work. They, they even enjoy their careers a lot more. Being with the wrong woman does the opposite. It shortens your lifespan, right? So this, this idea that the person you're with can, cannot affect you is, is not true. The biggest, the biggest decision that you're going to make in life is choosing a life partner. And if, if you choose the wrong one, all aspect of your life is going to suffer. A lot of men right now are going through so much stuff, but they, they lack the language and the wording needed to express themselves. And society has also taught us that we need to man up. We need to make more income. We need to be high value men. We need to dress a certain way. All of those responsibilities, these expectations are creating a traumatic cycle and experience for all black men. 
So yes, women can hurt men the same way that w men can hurt women. W yes, men are more physically dominant. But I promise you, you could take a punch, deal with it for three days, and you'd be good. But if you are mentally and emotionally um, attacked, that can last a lifetime. And there are a lot of individuals, narcissists, as, as, as well as female narcissists out there that have made a career or a life of doing just that. So we need to be very careful about what we say when, when it comes to men and, 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 and a woman's security as well as their mental health. So let me say this. Um, I agree with you. That's the first thing. And then one of the main women in a man's life that can actually ruin his entire life is his mother. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So Agreed. I was mainly talking in the context of the average woman, the average man. Remember, I literally said, not society, not the white man. And I meant to say not our mothers either, just from a relationship standpoint, mm -hmm. because I'm staying within context of the conversation. And the context of the conversation is, why can't you smile? And the people asking the woman, why can't you smile, are normal, everyday people that we see walking down the street. So I'm staying within context. I don't want to go out of that context because, like I said, your mother can literally ruin your entire life by telling you, man up, you ain't shit, you ain't this, you're, you're, you remind me of your daddy, uh, you ain't going to be nothing. You know, your teacher can, can ruin your life. You know, so there's variables that can literally ruin a man's life and cause a man to be depressed. But I'm staying within the context yeah. of the average woman and the average man. Mm -hmm. And my whole point is the average woman cannot hurt a man to the degree that a man can hurt a woman, either physically or emotionally. I because to disagree with that. Yeah, statement. I still don't okay. agree. It has nothing okay. To okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because to a certain degree, women, not all women, but women are programmed in a way to stay, to nurture, to fix, to make better. We have more of the uh, programming of, I'm going to get the hell on because I'm not happy. I'm right. getting out of here. I'm going to get another woman. I ain't doing this shit no more. I'm going to go. Do the lead their own kids. So... We have more of a nature of getting the hell on when we're not happy versus women. So, like I said, I'm just staying within context. But go ahead. So, oh, go ahead, Matt. Actually, according to statistics and, and the research, research, women are more likely to leave a relationship before a man away. A man may have um, other sit sit situations mm -hmm. on top of the but usually a man will remain in a relationship a lot longer as opposed to a woman. A man no. will remain in a relationship Wait. a lot longer opposed I to I disagree. Women. Leave a marriage, yeah, but a relationship, no. That statistic, and let me know if I'm wrong, that statistic is about the marriage rate. A mm -hmm. woman will leave a marriage Research. way Women faster than she will leave a... To leave a relationship, but I don't think that statistic goes with just typical relationship. Go ahead. Wait, I'm a, do you have anybody else trying to pull up? Yeah, yeah. But you okay, I'm going to bring them up. I'm going to say one thing, and then I'm going to go, because I know, I know you probably have other people. To a woman. But, All right. um, Aaron, to say, I, 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 I want to say I disagree, because to say average in this day and age, I feel like average doesn't even exist anymore because men and when it comes to women women are women can be very close women can be very destructive um and very vindictive I know that's and they right, can do everything in their power to dismantle a man over he cheated on her yeah. And now you ain't gonna see your kid. You gonna I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. So I just feel like it's hard to say average because 
there just isn't an average. And sometimes they could be the sweetest thing as pop, but the minute you messed up, guess what? They done turned Dr. Jekyll on you. You know what I mean? So I think it's just hard to say, it's hard for me to agree rather with a woman can't hurt a man because I've seen it done where a woman tear Again. down the strongest of a man because he done did one thing and fucked up and guess what? Okay, can, can, oh, can let me let, let me just let me just say this before I forget though, um, uh, Mac. A, a, a lot of times, too, though, here's something to, to keep in mind. Our fights are different, right? Fuck a yeah. man, a man fights with his fist. That's where we're the strongest. A woman that's what I'm her, saying. A, a, a woman fights with her words and her emotions, and that's where she's strongest. Period. You know, so our mm -hmm. fights are different. When it comes to how a man fights, yeah, there's no more often than not a woman might. A woman might punch a dude, but it's not going to be. To be honest, I feel like women fight. The woman fight is is more is more volatile than how a man fights because a man might physically hit a chick. That bruise might go and come, and then she might have to, you know. Well, I'm not going to say no, that either. Or I'm not going to say it ain't gonna it, never one, know. one is worse than the other because when a woman use certain words and tear dude down or emasculates him, that still calls for verbal abuse. Right, and it's just not so transparent when you meet someone. You find out months and months, years later that oh wait, I'm dealing with a whole, with a whole narcissist because well, somebody from his past hurt him, or somebody from her past hurt her. You know, mm -hmm. so go ahead, Mac. No, I, I I was just going to 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 say if we remove the the gender, we can all agree that people hurt mm -hmm. people. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. your man. All of that. Agreed. Agreed. Physically, or mentally, it just happens. So and that's the movie. And also, people hurt people, but hurt people hurt people. Clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna let you pull up somebody else. All right, because um, cool. we need we need some more girls up here. We need some yes, women. Yes, 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 yes. Ladies, Thank pull up, pull up. Hit the button, ladies. Bye bye. Thank you for Thank you guys. Up on us. Uh huh. Yeah, ladies, pull up, pull up, hit the button. We're gonna bring y'all up, ladies. Um, yeah, like I don't, I don't. Whew. I mean, ah oh, man, it's so much, so much to unpack. I feel like, ladies, if you want to be brought up, just hit the button. We're gonna bring you up. It's more than enough of you guys in the comments. Um, I, listen, man, going back a little bit, I, I understand. I understand what, what Aaron was saying. Again, he I think you were saying, you know, the physical thing or whatever the case may be. A woman is not going to not, like, when you said hit a man upside his head, I'm drawing the parallels to understand exactly what he was saying. It wasn't so much that a woman can't hurt a man. It was more so physically a woman isn't really causing any harm to a man. But there is an emotional um, aspect that a woman can hurt a man. And I think a lot of times men, we deal with things and... And um, not saying it's right, not justifying it, not, not caping for men because I'm a man. We have our areas of opportunity. We have places and, and fields in which we can do better. However, however, um, being able to, to, to call an Aaron or a Mac and knowing that these brothers are, 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 are accountability uh, uh, individuals, these are places I would like to start seeing more men hold men accountable, not just by way of what we're saying, but by way of what we're doing. Fuck because yeah. it'll troubleshoot the issues of what a lot of women go through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Check this out. Talk um, to um, me. Uh, go ahead, yeah. brother. Go ahead. You go. Um, I, I was, now you I was go. going to, to, to say, can we bring up Bashe? He is one of the most... I don't even know how how to describe him. He is one. Let's just say he's the Michael Jordan of emotions. The fuck? Well, I, I want to bring up a woman just because um, you know what? Hold up, hold up. Michael I, I, Jordan of emotions? What the fuck is you talking? What in the world? First of all, I'm the Michael Jordan of emotions. Tell, tell, tell him to hit the button. Tell him to hit the button. I, I'll bring him up. I can't find him. What's his name? Uh, Bashe Williams. Hold on. Let's see. Where y'all at? 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 Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Page Mr. Williams. Come up here, Mr. Williams. 
but oh, I see him. I see so him. So Michael Jordan up emotion. Run of relationships. So ladies, ladies, we <laughs> get late. We waiting for him up? to join. Yep. We waiting for him to join. He probably getting I his. Make sure you come I'm up left. here smiling, King. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 but all right, b b before my man comes up, um, my whole point was this: because I'm not here to dismiss the feelings of men. I'm not here to do that. But this whole context, we're not comparing men versus women overall, but. This is a woman's situation and not a man's situation. And it seems like we're starting to pull the conversation over to men's feelings, men's situations, the things that men go through. And this conversation within context is what women go through. And yes. due to that being the context, we cannot compare what men go through to what women go through because compared to what women go through, we don't go through shit. Well, see, so and, I'm going to stand think, on that. I think, that's the, I think that's the hardest part of it. Because, yes, this is about women smiling. Or, you know, um, um, why aren't women smiling? That's what it's about. Yes, right? However, when you do a deeper, when you do a deep dive, when you do a deep dive, I feel like it's not, it's not, it's not a competition. It's not about men don't go through this and women go through this. No, we mm. both respectfully go through our own things. We have our own issues. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's when we don't have places to un to, to unleash or unload these issues that we're going through that it becomes carried on from generation to generation, un, un, even, even subconsciously, right? You do things and you say things or say she's walking with her kid, say, say he's walking with, with his daughter and, and, and the mother or, or somebody says something to him that, that's emotionally, uh, uh, what you call it, emasculating a man or, or, or a man says to a woman, hey, sis, why don't you smile or whatever? And she says in front of her daughter, hey, I don't feel like smiling. And she does that too much and the kid, and the kid is impressed and those impressions are placed upon the kid and then the kid ends up growing up to do the same it's just it's just a roller coaster where it's not about a competition as to what women go through and what men go through we all go through our own things respectfully yeah. it's just about okay when you go through the thing through these things what's the best way to overcome them with the least uh uh, uh with with the least collateral damage Yes. Right, right. Bring a woman up. Bring a woman up. I'm uh, trying the, to the they want to come up. And also, like, <laughs> again, human nature is interactive. It's dyadic. So a, 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 a woman's um, challenges will also be related to the men in her life. And the same to the men as well. Because we are continuously engaging with each other. And we can either be the light or the challenge to each other's happiness. So we will always connect it back and forth. Mm. And yes, I do what you're saying. Do not owe no man a smile. Walk down the street in whatever armor that you feel like you need to in order in order to make it home safely. A man can mm. up to you and saying, hey, you should smile. That's a man using their privilege of safety to kind of invoke a response from you. And, I tell and you that's what I'm saying. It's like a police officer, like uh, being somewhere, pulling you over and saying, hey, or, or you just walking down the street and you see, you see four police officers standing around laughing or whatever, and you're like, hey, brother, won't you smile? Exactly. And they're like, nigga, if you don't get out of my face, kiss my ass, right? Well, do do not say that because we want you to make it home safely, and the culture needs you. <laughs> the, but, th the thought yeah. process be like, man, I smile at you. <laughs> What's up, Queen? How um, are so, you? So, so, so look before hey. I let the Queen speak, right? I just want to say, um, um, and, and I see the deep dive that you did there, right, uh, Mac? Now, do you think men actually? You see, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to agree with that because that that idea and notion will implement that black men are the white men to black women. And I do not agree with that. 
Period. I don't agree with that. Black men are not the white men to what black <laughs> women. We are not. So when you say a man, you know, um, and uh, uh, how you, I don't know the, the clever way in which you said it, but it's like his privilege of protection being placed on on his on, on the woman because he knows that he's safe. He's gonna ask her for a smile. It's not a demand, ladies. It's it's not a demand. I just want to be clear. It's not a demand. Mm -hmm. He's simply asking you to smile. You have the right to say, I don't. Whatever I don't choose to, however you to, do it the, to do in the in the least in in the in the way that is the least That's complicated. <laughs> Go ahead. But Gordon. if the ninth guy tells you to smile, now you're slightly perturbed. That's not his problem, no. He don't know that, she's been approached over a million problem. times. problem. And what, that is the exactly. problem. What, it's her problem to deal with what, 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 when what, the nice guy tells her to smile. You, you and know she's what like, happens? Let me show you what happens. Dude tell me the damn smile. Let me show you what happens. I, I, got, I, got, I just, just want to land this one point, Queen. I got you. What <laughs> happens a lot of times in, in New York City or, or, or wherever, you running late for work. You driving your car, mm -hmm. you start getting upset with traffic because traffic is going on, right? What I'm saying is, if you didn't leave the house late, how would you know that there was going to be traffic? I'm, the parallel that I'm saying is a man doesn't know that a woman's been approached a hundred million times. Just, that's not a fair assumption to make just because she's a woman, she's been approached a hundred million times. She could have just walked out her building, came around the corner, and he may be the first one to say it. And she might already, but anyway, I digress. Go ahead, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's your name? What, what's your name, Queen? We, we, oh, we, my name's Naomi. Hey, thank you for having me. I literally just joined the live and was just like, and then saw your request. I was like, ah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's um, going back to what you just said. Like, it's interesting that you're making the assumption that every guy that will ask you know, as women to smile, that it's coming from, like, like the way that they're asking is coming from, like, uh, like their delivery is pleasant. It's not always pleasant. Period. You know, there has been, like, different times when I've been asked to smile. Yeah. And sometimes it's, like, it's a demand, like, demanding me to smile. Fuck yeah. You yeah. know, and it's been a way of a guy trying to chat me up or to approach me where I'm like, no, like, okay, it, like when I'm smiling, I'm not smiling for you. I'm smiling because I'm genuinely happy. Yes. It, it's, and it shouldn't be like coming from a place of demand, but there has been other times when, um, yeah, this is a really interesting subject because I do remember when I have been triggered from a guy telling me to smile and I was just like, why are you telling me to smile for? Like, who are you? Mm. You know? Mm. And, and then I didn't know that there's a song literally you do know there's a song that was hot last summer that demanded women to smile called Smile Bitch, just so you know. I'm not doing this tonight. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this tonight. Thank you very much. Smile Bitch. I said Smile Bitch. Smile Bitch. I'm just saying, like, hey, I'm not doing that. Thank you for highlighting that. Thank you for highlighting that. Thank you, protect black men, queen, protect black men. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but yes, to, to that point, sis, I, I, I do agree and I understand that, right? Like, like your smile is for you. Your smile is mm -hmm. for you. You don't, you know, and, and depending on how a man says it, I get it. I, I mm -hmm. get it. If he's doing mm -hmm. too much, I get it. You know, mm -hmm. um, um, sometimes it's not even about a smile. I think I seen, I think I seen, um, um, uh, what's my guy name here? He, uh, so many comments. Uh, I think I seen someone in the comments go, um, you know, find a more witty approach. And I'm here for it, right? Like me personally, when I, when I was outside hollering at or, or doing whatever I do, I don't personally, I don't personally, and let's shake it up a little bit, right? And, and I'm gonna do that. 
Mm-hmm. I don't per- I don't personally holler at black women. Fuck is you I don't I, I don't I don't say hey oh, no. sis, what's going on with you? Oh, I don't no. put myself in a position oh, no. to holler at black women respectfully. And it's not because I don't like black women. It's not because I don't I'm not interested in black women. It's not because my mother not a black woman. It's not because of any of the above. I just don't know what I'm gonna get. So I'll, if I meet somebody, it's always come by way of either shorty shooting her shot with me. I met her through way of, yo, bro, yo, who that? You know what I mean? Or I met her through way of a former relationship but or whatever. But it, it, it's very few and far between. Huh? Like, there's, there's a lot of assumptions there. Like, because of your past experiences, you know, like, you're judging that you can't approach a black woman because you're you're ex- you're expecting to get attitude no and no. it's not that's not always the case well, I, it's, not that that I'm, it's, it's not that i'm expecting to get attitude i don't know what i'm gonna get and i don't Which like to get it unless i know okay. wait, wait 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 hold on keep it real you're saying attitude without saying attitude no 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 i'm not no, what, what I'm saying yeah, is, you, you, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, other than attitude. No, cause she, cause she yeah, can give, talent, she, talent. that's what you're worried about, about is what, what I'm saying. All right, hold on, one at a time, right? What I'm, exp- I don't know if she gonna give me, it, you're being too hold, hold on. Stop trying to be polite. Hold on, how is. A- attitude, <laughs> hold on guys, attitude is one. She could be distracted. Uh-huh. She could, she could have her kid with her. It could be all a wide array of things. It's not just attitude. I don't think black women is directly associated with attitude. So don't don't think I'm being nice or, or I'm curving my tongue because that's one thing I don't do. What I'm saying Bro. is a lot of times I don't know what I'm going to get. I just don't know. So I don't say, I, I don't put myself in harm's way because I don't, and, and the harm is if you shoot your shot and you miss, I'm just not one of them dudes that's used to missing respectfully. Oh, so it's rejection. It's not, it's not the, yeah, in, in part, in part the rejection. Okay. And in part, in part the rejection. But I don't, I, I don't go, I don't go to the crap table. I don't go to the crap table unless I know I got the bag on me. I don't gamble unless I know I'm up and I stand a greater chance to win opposed to standing a greater chance to lose. So okay. I just mm-hmm. don't, I just don't put myself in that situation. Now, if it's somebody that, yo, my man, it's a girl over there, and my, and my man, she's connected to my man, and I'd be like, yo, bro, what's up with shorty? whoop de woo woo I stand a greater chance to win or a greater chance to, or a greater chance of not having the, the, the most extreme impact by way of just stating, oh, well, she got a man. All right, cool. I respect that and keep it moving. Can I ask you so, 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 so what Broadway is saying that, he, he is not the one to, to go up and talk to a stranger because yes. he doesn't know what, what they are going through. Yes. And right. okay. they respond to him. Exactly. And, Period, and, and as a man that's always looking for, for the winning shot of the highest percentage, he prefers to have something in common with, with that individual that would increase his chances of winning. Right? So let's remove the black woman from that statement. And, mm-hmm. and and phrase it how it's actually meant, which Thank makes you. sense. I appreciate that. I got you, King. I appreciate that, <laughs> and, and, and that's exactly what it is. It's, it's not a it's, it's not a black woman thing because I'm not out here. What what I will say though is what I will say is um, I'm always here for uplifting and 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 and, and saluting and celebrating black women, black men, accomplishment, small or mm-hmm. small or large. Right? What I'm not here for is negative energy, bad vibes, so forth and so on. Hence the reason for this topic tonight and having this distinguished uh, a group of panelists that, that, are, that are lending to the greater conversation. To Aaron's point, it, it's not just about, it's, you know, we deviated a bit and we tend to a lot deviate a bit when it comes to uh, uh, topics, but when you look at it, it it's hard to stay it's hard to grow in, 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 all right, so the best way of me putting this is in anything that, anything that changes and invokes growth, right? Because change and mm-hmm. growth is synonymous, right? So if we're having a conversation about why aren't women cheating, and then it, 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 it matures a little bit and it goes into the uh, uh, why, men, uh, why men are hurt, 
It makes sense because, well, we're, we're growing a little bit, and, and then we're coming back to pay attention to how we all started. So if there's people in the comments that, 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 that may be thinking, hey, why aren't you guys talking about X, Y, Z? We're growing a little, and we're coming back. We're growing a little, and we're coming back. So continue on, Queen. Yeah, no, what I was going to ask is, how would you feel, this is different, but like, say, if I was to say to you, like, Hey King, like smile, like telling you to smile. I'll like, smile, hey, hey, Queen. King. I'll smile, Queen. I appreciate I'll Queen. Smile. I will smile. I'll smile, yeah? Queen, okay. because that goes to Aaron's point where we don't like whether we happy or sad. We gonna smile as men. Mm. But then, would it depend on how I'm speaking to you, like how I say it? Because again, well, like well, I well, to be honest with you, no, I, and I'm happy you said that because no? as a as a man, mm -mm. if I see if I see that you have a little bit of attitude, I might I might. Oh, so you want me to smile? Oh, so so this is what you want me to do and put all my teeth <laughs> on display just to reverse the outcome. So because I know okay. you don't have just all right. So this is me being responsible for you, and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. all right, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. So, do we smile more than women? Yeah, really? we smile all the time. Really? Is, really? You yeah, we we touchy. Look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is hold on. This is a very big pause. Okay, what I'm about to say this is a very big pause. Men smile. Uh, to uh, at each other, at, at each other more. Just smile. Period. Period. We compliment each other period. more, and we touch each other more. Period. With this, this what the fuck is you talking about? Come on, don't be last. So, where we we do that way more than women. Okay, but you also live in Atlanta, right? And people are oh, no. oh, no. no. Where are you going to with this, man? Oh, no. Where are you going? Wait, no, wait. Where you going to? He said no. we touch each other more Damn, than you said. Also live in Atlanta. Where you right going now. to with this, man? Bro, this fist bumps and just... Yo, yo, wait, hold on, hold on. When I, if I was... Hold on one second. Hold on. When I... <laughs> if I was to go in the vicinity of any of you, right? We're going to dab each other up, right? Do I know yeah. you, though? Bro, yes. Okay, so so women, I, wait, 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 bro, wait. Women don't touch each other when they know each other unless they ain't seen each other in a long time. Like, if you go over your sister's house, y'all not, most, it's a good chance that y'all ain't gonna hug each other. You just gonna come in the house and y'all gonna talk. If I go in one of y'all house, I'm gonna dap you up. When I'm at work, if I pass you, I got a pound, I give you a fist bump, something like that. Women don't touch each other at work. Men are always like uh, dapping each other up, no matter where we are. Because like where I'm from, especially like in the part of the UK that I live, like in the East Midlands, like we're very friendly. So I'm a hugger. Like if I know you to say hello to you is to get a hug, you yeah. know, and to show yeah. love. So um, like here, I wouldn't say like the guys don't so like pump and like do a big fist, but I wouldn't say that they do it more than the women. Like as women, no. Uh, so look, let, 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 let me give I, some validity that, to this, right? If uh -huh. if 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 I'm going down the if I'm going down the path that Aaron is, excuse me, if I'm going down the path that Aaron is pointing out, and men we're, we're more we're more affectionate with one another, right? Um, again, mm. the the balance pause. is pause, right? The 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 balance is women are women. You guys and I often say this, and you guys hear me say this all the time. Women do a great job at congregating amongst yourselves. We don't do a mm. great job at that. You women do a great job at saying, going out for girl talk. We don't got girl mm -hmm. talk. We got, yo, let's get up with the guys and just go hang I'm out. And we don't be talking about it. nothing about nothing. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It just be a break for my woman. That's it. <laughs> or or, or try like or, or try. Congregate is like when you're in the barbershop. Like that's mostly like a lot but, of men being around one another and talking like in the barbershop. But, right but even but even in even inside so even inside the barbershop, okay. it's still no now, emotional. Or against that, you can communicate that. You you talk. Hello, bro. We, we can hear you, bro. Yeah, we can hear you, Mac. Mute, mute your mic. Sorry, sorry, um um. 
conjugate. I mean, even in the barbershop, there, there's a sense of, of, yo, what's going on with the game or who did what, this, that, and the third. There's no level of emotion when it comes to what we're going through because men, I don't think, and, and us, us being, um, uh, Mac, mute your mic. Um, as, as being men, we don't really uh, uh, feel a sense of confide in, in perfect strangers as it pertains to other men. Where women, I feel you guys do a great job. It'll, if they your don't. girlfriend in introduce you to another girl and your girl she says like her. she's a good girl, she, no, she might be more accepted to... Not at all. Not you know what I mean? Like, but no? Sorry. No, 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 not to you, to Aaron. Like, when I'm introduced to someone, the same way, like, I embrace my friend is the same way I embrace their friends. Like, it's different. Like, I embrace women. Like, I'm, you know, like, we hug, we, you know, or, it, or like, mwah, mwah, ear kiss, whatever. Like, it's very friendly. Again, like, yeah, I'm not so basically... Do you think so okay, yeah, you're 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 not in America, and I'm not in New York. I mean, so mm -hmm. we both, oh, all three of us, York. are in, well, in totally different, different areas. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Broadway, are you saying that men don't dap each other up? They don't fist bump each other. They don't throw their heads up. They don't say what's up. They don't smile like what's up. What's up, cat? We don't. Do y'all no, do none I, of that I, stuff? No, I agree <laughs> with you. Yeah, we do absolutely. Women don't, is what I'm saying. Women okay. walk by other women, walk by other men, walk by trees. The fuck? They, they ain't talking to nobody. They just like... They walk they by trees. Drink, they... I would say like, because I used to live in London. I was in London and London is very different to where I am like in the East Midlands. East Midlands, we're very friendly. But in London, like people are like that. Like I can remember the first time when I moved there, um, and saying good morning to somebody in the morning, and they looked at me like real strange, like, who are you? And mm -hmm. I was just like, um, just me. And it just turned into this whole confrontation because it was just like, I don't know you, why are you saying hello to me? And da 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 da. But growing mm -hmm. up in the East Midlands, like that's how we are. Like you you don't need to know the person walking down the street. It's good morning, hi, how are you doing? Have a good day. Like I was out yeah. training earlier this morning and you know, people like coming around me and my friend to make sure that we was okay and our workout was all good. Like it's very friendly where I'm from. But ladies, it is if different. If you want to be brought up, just just hit the button, ladies. If you want to be brought up, hit the button, I'll bring you up. I, and I Broadway. I got to head out. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we can reconvene another time because yeah, yeah, this was yeah. this, pretty this, dope. This, this, this was really good, really useful, man. I, I appreciate um, I appreciate the queens and the kings that pulled up tonight. You know, um, I appreciate Aaron Mallory. Let's put some respect on these individuals' names. Mr. Underscore Let Go, tap in with him. You know what I'm talking about? We do this thing every Monday, man. Um, new episode out right now. Live on Broadway Podcast on YouTube. Tap in with us, man. New episode out right now. We also going to stream this live straight to... We actually streaming right now, so it'll actually be on YouTube after we're done. I appreciate everybody. Energy. Um, This was dope. Shout out and round of applause for everybody that pulled, pulled up and participated, man. Live on Broadway Podcast. We'll be back next Monday, you heard? It's cheaper to be yourself. Be giant. Boo! Clip! <laughs>